Hi, fourth graders. This is uh, part one of a two-part unit review for our first unit in math expressions, which has focused on place value, rounding and estimating, and adding and subtracting with greater numbers. I'm going to take examples from the review that you've taken home so you can follow along. My advice is stop and rewatch any parts of the video that you know are, are um, focused on pieces of the math that you might not feel 100% sure on. Pause and try it yourself, then, then, then continue the video to check your own work. The only thing you could do wrong with this, with, with this whole video thing is to just sit and watch it all the way through, not take any notes, not try any of the math yourself. That's going to be a poor way to prepare. So get yourself organized and continue with the video when you've got all that math in front of you and a nice sharp pencil or two handy. Are we ready? Great. Let's take a look at item 5. Item 5 is uh, asking us to, un to show our understanding of place value. It asks us which of these numbers has the digit 7 with a value of 700 and it gives us four separate numbers. Well, I'm going to take a look at these numbers from left to right. If we look at the first number, 7,352, I see the 7 is in the thousands place. That means that 7 is worth 7,000, not 700. The second number in the series is 720, and I see that the 7 is in the hundreds place. That means this number has seven hundreds. That means that 7 is worth 700. So 720 looks like it's definitely going to be our answer. Let's just double check the last two. 270 has a 7, but it's in the tens place. And 7 tens is worth 70, not 700. And finally, we have the number 357. It has a 7, but the 7's in the ones place. And 7 ones are only worth 7, not 700. So 720 is what's going to work and we can, and our explanation would be something along the lines of the 7 is in the hundreds place. That means that it is has a value of 7 hundreds or 7 groups of 100 if you wanted to write it as a math expression. So feel free to pause and think about that, rewatch and write the answer down in, in a way that makes sense for you. Moving on, let's take a look at item 8. Item 8 shows us the number 680,742 in standard form, but it asks us to write that number in expanded form. We know expanded form means taking each place and then writing out the value in a really long addition expression. So let's start with the greatest place. The six is in the hundred thousands place. That means it's worth six groups of one hundred thousand or six hundred thousand. I check to make sure I've written the correct number. Then I go to the next greatest place. I see there's an eight in the ten thousands place. That means we have eight groups of ten thousand or eighty whoops eighty thousand. I check to make sure that I've written that number correctly and I move on. Now I see in the thousands place there's a zero. That means that there's no there are no thousands in this number. The zero holds that spot and there's nothing for me to write down. I move on to the 7, which is in the hundreds place. It means we have 7 hundreds, which gives us a value of 700 in the hundreds place. The 4 is in the tens place, and 4 tens, 10, 20, 30, 40 is the value. And finally, the 2 is in the ones place, and 2 ones is just two. That's all. And so there we've got expanded form. Each place 
we write the single value for every place that has a value. Now let's take a look at item 11. For item 11, they've asked us to compare two greater numbers. And there are different ways we can do this. The way that I prefer, just because I want to be really careful, is making sure I line the numbers up by place value vertically, almost as if I were going to add or subtract. When I line them up vertically, then I can look really closely and I can say, okay, well I see that here in the hundred thousands place, three and three are equal. So when I go to the next place, greatest place value, the ten thousands place, I see a difference and this is something I can compare. Here I have in my top number, 60,000, my bottom number, however, has 90,000 there. That makes that a greater number. I don't even have to look any further because I found the, great, um, the greatest value where there's a difference and compared there. So now I know that 369,125 is less than 396,124. So that's part one of our unit review. And in part two, we'll go on to look at adding and subtracting with greater numbers, as well as doing some rounding and problem solving.